hi guys and welcome to the latest video um, this is going to be quite a short video because it's a tiny car um, charity shop haul um, picked up a few items here and there whilst um, you know being out and about just popping into local charity shops what four items to share with you um, and they have um, cost a total of 24 pounds 50 and should return in the region of 120 to 130 pounds and I'm pretty excited to share them with you and these are all items that I think um, will do pretty well should sell pretty quickly um, and we'll get on with it and the first item I wish to share with you guys are these amazing Doc Martin shoes I'm not a shoe expert by any stretch of the imagination but when you see these um, you pick them up you'll instantly be able to tell they are a quality product um, they're very well made. Um, the first sign of that is on the soles. It actually does say that they're made in England. Um, as you guys all know, not many things, in, especially footwear, is now made in the UK. So the fact that these are made in England is quite a, a plus. They're really nice um, leather. I mean, it actually does say on the tag inside that it's a, a leather man. It's made in England, leather upper with man-made soles. They're they're basically Oxford style shoes, five eyelets. They've got the yellow stitching. They're a, they're only a size six. I think they're a ladies kind of shoe, um, UK six. Um, so, I sh you know we should hopefully do pretty well with these. Only paid five pounds for these, and if I just show you what I expect to get, um, here is a, a listing. Now this listing was from the United States. It wasn't sold in e on eBay UK. It was sold in eBay.com, and the guy was asking forty dollars, which is about thirty pounds. His shipping internationally would have really put a lot of people off because it was fifty pounds in shipping, thirty pounds for the shoes, and plus the photos themselves aren't amazing. Um, you can see they're a bit blurry. He hasn't really gotten that nice Doc Martens. Um, logo which is embossed on the back there I don't know if you can just make it out there really nice I mean the condition of these is fantastic you can see the sole there it looks barely used there's a little bit of marking there a bit of discoloration scuffing um, which you'd expect from a used shoe but they've not been used much at all um, so you'll be able to, to, to kind of hopefully make that out actually if I, if I, actually, let me just quickly go back to the normal screen I can show you better there you go so you haven't gotten that embossing shown properly, which is a bit of a shame. Um, in these photos, uh, the rip blurry, not the best, but still, you know, the, the guy managed to get, um, you know, 30 odd quid. I'd be expecting to put these up at maybe 40 to 50 pounds and then maybe take offers plus shipping. I think they'll sell pretty quickly. They're nice leather shoes. So that was the, uh, the first item that I wish to share with you guys. Um, moving on um this is probably the worst pickup um of the day um out of the four items i'm going to show you it was 50 pence and it's a little street fighter pixel brick um toy model kit thing so basically you build a ryu ryu or ryu he's a character from street fighter um, which is like a classic video game for those of you who don't know by published by Capcom because it's all official it's got all the logos and etc there so that's what I picked up for 50 pence um, I should be looking at around um, 10 pounds this sold for 11 pounds with free shipping so <laughs> I mean, the reason why I think this is the worst pickup is because even though from 50p, that's like 20 times the original uh, purchase price, like, you know, over 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 that actually because it's 1099. But after your fees, after your postage, because it's 1099 with free postage, you kind of have to wonder for a one-off listing, is it worth it? It's borderline at best. But because it was something that I'm into, I love Street Fighter. Um, it's cool looking item. I think Ryu looks really grumpy and kind of funny in pixel format. Um, I thought for 50p, I'll take it. Um, it should still clear about six pounds profit odd after you know after your um, postage and everything, so, which is not amazing, but it's a nice easy listing, I suppose. So that was the second item that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, now, third item, another item of clothing, um, but these are definitely worth picking up this is um a men's v-neck jumper 
medium size, so way too small for me. Um, and it's by FNF, which I believe is Tesco's brand. It might be Sainsbury's. I'm not sure, but it's one of the big UK super supermarkets brand FNF. Normally, I wouldn't really buy it FNF because it's not a good brand really but this is a hundred percent cashmere which means um, you know it will sell basically it's mega soft you can just tell from the feel of it this material is insanely soft it's gonna be mega mega comfortable for whoever buys it size medium um, it's got what is known as like an argyle pattern you can see there on the front and I did actually find the exact same thing um, which sold um, on eBay uh, for £24. So originally this jumper was up at £30 with free shipping um, and then the seller put a 20% markdown manager sale on and it went down to £23.99 and it sold. You can see it was well presented although I think the photo has been um, manipulated a bit or overly doctored. They might have just used like an auto kind of function because you can see that the the white uh, mannequin is bleached and that means that the coloring on the the jumper you can tell it's kind of like the contrast has been boosted it's a bit of a noisy picture um still does the job perfectly well um but you know i think it's look you can tell it's, it's a bit overly bleached i mean I, I, it's like a softer kind of color i think anyway but that's minor um 24 quid um and we paid four pounds so four pounds to 24 pounds that's nice and it should be a pretty quick sell cashmere super cool I always pick that up if I see cashmere um, and even though I'm not like a clothes person it just makes sense it's it's a it's a quality material um, worth picking up um, it, you know I mean things like wool and cotton are way way more common even wool isn't necessarily always worth picking up you have to look at the brand for that cashmere is one of those materials I feel that you don't necessarily need a brand if you get a brand with it then you're gonna just get more money for it um, whereas even if you've got like a no brand like F and F, um, the the material itself uh, pulls in enough attention to to get a sale. Um, final item that I wish to share with you guys today um, is coming up. Let me just show you what that. Oh, hold on, did I actually show you? I'm not sure if I showed you the. In case I didn't show you, in case I didn't show you, that is the sold listing for that last jumper. I'm not sure if I did or not. I. I just, I keep on forgetting so I'm just gonna quickly show you that was the jumper all right final item um, this was quite a nice pickup um, it was a little bit of um, hi-fi this is a Philips CD player uh, model number CD723 this is a very basic very cheap entry-level CD player um, you can get CD players that are infinitely, infinitely better. This is like right, this is entry level stuff. So it's not amazing quality by any stretch of the imagination. I paid £15 for this CD player. You can see, see it there. It came with its remote, which was very, very important. And it came with the user manual, which again is super important. Um, if you're buying, um, if you're buying like low end stuff you've got to make sure that it's as complete as possible to make it as attractive as possible um if it was a high end brand like if it was if it was like a high end manufacturer you can get away with not having remote controls or user manuals and things because um, people will still want the main unit because it's a high-end unit and it will, it will be fantastic but with lower end stuff you've got to be a little bit more careful in my opinion um, now the reason why I say that is because you'll see that I paid £15 for this unit and the pricing can vary like a, a lot um, let me just quickly show you what I mean by that let me just quickly I did actually have it on ready but I, I want to show you like the, the, the kind of um, the variation in achievable prices if you know what I mean so here we go here is um, the same CD player so you can see initially the first listing that comes up I paid 15 pounds remember someone sold the same CD player at auction in fact it was probably a charity because it's got the charity logo there and they achieved 14 pounds plus five pound shipping not very good so far right this guy here got 20 pound plus eight pound shipping so again from 15 pounds still not a very good buy um, this guy only got 16 pounds but again bear in mind these all don't have remote control or manual the first one which does have a remote control and manual um, someone got 50 euros plus 
19 euros shipping so that was that was good um and then oh look one here solver 99p collection only that would have been a good buy um but if you scroll down here there's someone who achieved 40 with no remote and then here there's someone that's achieved 60 with free shipping with the remote and here's another one which again with remote and instructions got 50 so um and then here's another one 60 euros so from 15 pounds if i can achieve 50 to 60 pounds i'm happy with that at a push i will take 40 plus shipping um but ideally obviously i want to go for what this guy's managed to achieve which is 60 pounds um but that was obviously including shipping um so you know like i, I we've priced ours at 50 plus shipping so um, you know, I'm happy because obviously ours has got the remote control and the user manual So hopefully it will it will help us achieve that price um, and that's what we're gonna go for So that's all I wanted to show you guys back out there in the charity shops Just popping into them as and when I can I'm not like, you know, me and Becca are obviously quite busy at the moment We've got lots of stock already to list Beck's at work and so we're working around her work as well And we're just like popping into charity shops like after she's finished or whatever we whenever we can and we're picking up these little bits and pieces but they're nice um some nice profit items so hopefully um there'll be some items there that maybe you guys can look out for when you're out charity shopping um and um make some profit hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching